Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use background gradients with oxygen. So to add a gradient background, go to Advanced, Background, scroll to the bottom, and click Gradient. And here I have a full height section. We're going to set up a gradient background on this section. So to add a color to the gradient, click Add Color, and then simply choose a color using the color picker. And add a second color. To make it a gradient, just click Add Color again. And let's copy paste this color, but maybe make it a little, little more blue like this. All right, even go to purple. And there we go. Now I've created a gradient background. It starts here and ends here on this color. And you can add as many colors as you want to a gradient. So for example, let's add another color and paste in this color and then move it down to say pink like this. And now we actually have a three color gradient. Starts at blue, goes to purple, ends at pink. You can make them linear gradients or radial gradients. If you choose radial gradients, you have all these CSS options that would apply to a radial gradient. For a linear gradient, you can choose the angle. So I can make this say 90 degrees or um, 135 degrees or the default, which is 180 degrees or 270. So you can just rotate the gradient uh, the way you want. Let's go with uh, 90 for now. Um, you also have the uh, distance controls, how far each color extends into the gradient. So for example, let's say I wanted this blue to go um, 200 pixels. I'd enter 200 pixels. The blue now goes 200 pixels, then the rest of the gradient starts. If I wanted this to end, say, at 205 pixels, I could enter 205 right there. Or just make kind of a solid transition, not much blur. At least on a 90 degree gradient, I can enter the same distance. So the blue goes 200 pixels, um, the purple goes to 200 pixels, and then this goes all the way to the end. You can also use percents here too. So say this goes to say 50%, and then we could set this to go to say 75%, and then you get blue to here, and then the gradient starts. So that gives you tons of fine grain control uh, to create flexible gradients. You're not limited to just using two colors and you know having a smooth gradient. So this gives you this gives you a lot of control. Now let's go ahead and create a gradient overlay effect on an image. So let's clear out this gradient for now, and we'll go back to background. And I'll add in a background image. So let's choose um, let's choose this image. And let's say above this, we had in, uh, say, a black section. Maybe this is where we had our header or our menu. We didn't want the image kind of messing with the visuals there. So set the background color to, say, black. And now let's create an overlay effect on this image. So we'll go advanced, background, gradient. Uh, we'll add a color. We'll start the gradient at black on the top. Um, and then let's say we want it to uh, slowly become purple. Well, we'll choose purple here, and then we'll fade out the, um, the opacity slider so the image is semi-transparent there. And let's change this to be 180 degrees. And look at that. Now we have this gradient overlay effect where the image kind of fades in as you scroll down the page. So that's super cool. In fact, if we wanted to fade the image out as well, we could just go back to gradient and let's duplicate this color here and remove the opacity there. And then maybe we want to have a purple section below this background color purple. And look at that. Now we have the image fade in and fade out. Maybe we'd have some text up here, probably white text. And Maybe something like that down here too. And look at that. So you can create some super cool designs like this. Okay, one other note about uh, gradient backgrounds is that in very old browsers, they don't necessarily work. So one thing you might want to do is set a background color as a fallback. So for example, if your gradient's basically going to be purple, set a purple background color and 
then go in and build your actual gradient. That way, if the user loads the site on a really old browser and the gradient doesn't work, uh, the gradient it falls back to the background color. Okay, this is Lewis from SoFly. That is how to use gradients with oxygen. The great thing about gradients and oxygen is you get unlimited colors in those gradients. You can control the position of each color. So it's a lot more like you know using a professional graphic design tool to do gradients as opposed to a typical page builder that only lets you use two colors.